Five. Come on. Keep. There it is. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries. Welcome to the Magic Brad Show. Here we go again. It's a uh, Friday. Should we make this friendly Friday so you guys can all be kind and nice? And I think so because I've got my friend, my new friend. This is fun because I was doing a, a basically a global program and I got connected with somebody and turns out that they live right here in the Twin Cities and his name is Adam and here he is. Adam, how you doing? Hey everyone, doing okay. Doing okay today. Okay. It's a good day, all things being considered. It's cold out here all of a sudden in Minneapolis. It is. I mean, we're. it <laughs> seems we're getting a winter a little early. It's time to move south. I took my wife out on a date. We went to see some flamenco dancers in, uh, over a place uh, north by Fridley at Crooners. Oh, interesting. It was outdoor in a tent, and it was cold. Luckily, I wore my long underwear and gloves. And... Yeah, it was very <laughs> cold. But hey, it was fun. We enjoyed it. It was good. That's awesome. So what have you been up to? Working? I have been working. I did go out of town for Labor Day, but I got back into it. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I I did a little work even while I was out of town. But yeah, been working, building business. Well, you know, my philosophy on that is like some people like to separate work. My wife likes to keep it separate. I think it should be kind of parlayed and you should enjoy what you're doing. And it just happens to be, um, you know, generating an income for you, which you can't do when you have a nine to five job, you folks. (laughs) What we're talking about is, uh, in fact, I got a little banner thing here. That's what we're kind of doing today. Affiliate infomercial. We're going to get some information about affiliate marketing because I think that's going to be the new nine to five or the new occupation for people. Um, it doesn't require a lot of uh, expenses to get involved with affiliate marketing. You know, you don't have to rent a retail store or a kiosk, or you don't even have to go get inventory and stuff like that. It's basically just hooking uh, a product with a service, making a connection, and you're the middleman. That's all really affiliate marketing is you're an affiliate a product with a customer. Yeah. Product with yeah. a customer, not a service. A product or service with a customer. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the correction. Yeah, I, was yeah. having, I was trying to get my fingers into the screen. You gotta get the person involved. Sometimes <laughs> dealing with the, you know, all the digital, we can forget there are people on the other end. Well, you know, that's a very good point that a lot of people they they decide to try and collect email addresses to build their list. They don't realize that there's a person on the other side of that email address and you can't just write out, you know, you got to connect with them. That's part of, I think, the challenge is getting that product market fit is the languaging that a person is using to make those connections, you know? Oh, for sure. I mean, email marketing, it's, I mean, it's big, but you need to learn how to do it to connect with people, get them to engage with you. It's not the easiest thing. Do you find that a lot of people end up getting into a rut of a, like a video marketing or email marketing or Facebook marketing, or they get into a, a space thinking that that's the thing? Oh, for sure. I mean, definitely, uh, you know, the organic Facebook is the, all the rage, but, you know, and everybody's all about that, but there's pitfalls to that. And a lot of the gurus will never tell you that, all the coaches out there, and that that is that you need to build an audience. Well, takes time to do that. You know, I read an article, and I think I mentioned it before, that a lot of big brands are leaving a platform like Facebook because of the negativity that's there. Because Facebook, unlike LinkedIn, LinkedIn's more business to business. Facebook yeah. is just social consumer generic. It's not really a niche, so it's hard to really carve that niche out in Facebook because people are on there concerned about politics or concerned about racism or concerned about cat videos or cooking, it's all over the board, right? Mm-hmm. You have to find uh, the people that are going to be interested in what you're offering, you know? And you're not, and when you're not paying for ads, there is no targeting, so you have to target that. And that's a skill in and of itself, the whole uh, search engine optimization, using the proper keywords for certain things to attract that right audience, right? Well, on Facebook, no, because you're doing it just to, you're looking in groups, you're looking for adding friends as you build your audience and such. 
I mean, but but I, I think Facebook still has some algorithms and some AI stuff in there. If you're using certain words or you're you're giving a thumbs up or liking a certain thing or something, it's going to start oh, migrating sure. that type of data to you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. In that way, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was thinking more of the search engine type where you type in a keyword. You're not necessarily doing that in Facebook. You think that Facebook has that kind of thing in there? Like if you show their algorithm? Well, like if I started doing posts about um, green jello with with carrots in it, you think I would start getting that kind Absolutely. of Absolutely. Heck, I have actually like just had a conversation with somebody about like just the other week this happened. I was having a conversation with a friend about um, what video editor to use that's not too expensive. Told me about it. It was DaVinci, I believe. And I didn't even type it into a search bar yet. It was showing up on my Facebook feed. That's what I'm saying. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That's something that's that if someone's up. trying to get into this, uh, this um, affiliate marketing as earning an income online, and they're really passionate about politics, they probably shouldn't be on Facebook for that. Maybe they should find a Pinterest account or something and and focus on that other platform that's off to the Absolutely, side. Absolutely, because if they, if they because what they're going to do is they keep showing the people that engage with you. Those are the ones that keep seeing your content. And if you're always engaging with people about politics, that's all you're going to keep seeing. That's what they want. You know, they want engagement. They drive engagement. Everything, everything that you post, if it doesn't get engagement, they don't show it anymore. So, you, you know, know, and that's why you want a, a, a interested group of people on your friends list to stay engaged in your content because otherwise nobody's going to see it. You can put it up there um, and nobody's going to see it. And, and of course, there are ways to help the algorithm along. You know, you can, you got to give love to get love. So if you go before you post something, go and like, uh, or not like love, you always want to actually use the heart or the care emoji because uh, it it actually um, means more to the algorithm. You know, when you do that, you go and comment on people's posts, you will get more views on yours. So where do you where do you learn these things? So that's something oh, that's, I never really, that makes total sense, but I never even thought about it. A lot, a lot of it on Facebook. I mean, people, I mean, I friend people that are doing affiliate marketing, that are doing, you know, make money online ventures. Um, so there's a captive audience, interested audience, you know, you know, kindred spirits of sorts. A lot of those people post that as value posts, you know, because the okay. key to doing organic marketing is, you know, traffic value offer, you know lifestyle results uh value you know that's another way of looking at it you know so you're sort of learning while you're earning kind of thing it's a, yeah i it's mean a college yeah absolutely you know and a lot of people share that sort of you know those tips so that's how i learned about it i i, I didn't have any idea that that's how their algorithm worked and now actually it changed with uh september they started um they changed the the classic look on Facebook is no longer available. They changed over to the new one, and then the algorithm changed somewhat too. So I don't know what that is, but that's why I don't rely just on Facebook. Right. Because, you know, if you rely only on one medium or one platform, if that gets shut down, you're effed. If we I don't care, <laughs> we'll keep this G rated. And, and the F doesn't stand for Facebook either, does it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't stand for Facebook. No. <laughs> and I've actually been put in Facebook jail, as they say, twice, twice yeah. uh, in I mean, the last two or three months. And then you can't post. And I also know probably about five people that have been totally, their accounts just shut down. So, right. I mean, if you throw all your eggs in one basket on one platform, then you're screwed. It's going to take you months to rebuild that. Well, that's yeah. something that uh, you know, the, these educational processes, the whole concept of affiliate marketing, in an essence, it's pretty simple. It's just 
finding an audience that fits the product and you got an affiliate link and that's how the person gets access to it just so that it's tracked. It's pretty simple, but it's all these other things of etiquette and how do you do these certain things that a person needs to learn about. And I know that you and I are in a mutual program, that easy one up platform that has some education in it uh, that where people can learn about these kind of things and just learn about the entrepreneurial mindset. Cause some people will go, I sent my link out to seven of my friends today and nobody bought. Yeah. <laughs> and then they quit. First of all, that's the beauty of affiliate marketing. You don't have to hassle your friends and family. Right, right. Good point. You know, I don't want to do that. You but know, people usually do go to that market. I mean, a lot of these things. Part of the warm market. The warm market, most of the times, is the most cold. <laughs> right. It is because, you know, they got their jobs or whatever. Maybe they're not even interested in this kind of thing. They just want to see at the softball game every week. They don't really want to get into that kind of thing. And the analogy I use sometimes is like if you went to Starbucks to buy a cup of coffee and then the, the person behind the counter says, hey, you wouldn't be interested in a Starbucks franchise, would you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, I, you know, and that's the thing about affiliate marketing. The key to the success is finding – Finding the people that have a problem that your product or service solves. Let right. me uh, put this little banner up here so people, if they're interested, they know how to find it. Currently, yeah, this uh, uh, this logo, this this URL goes to a platform that Adam and I are working on together. Um, and so that's where this URL will go, and you can get access to this thing called Easy One Up is what it's called. And uh, yeah. We don't just do one thing. We do multiple types of affiliate programs. There's a lot of stuff out there. Absolutely. And I mean, easy one up is, is great because you can learn while you earn. I mean, right. you, you have, a, you know, training from the beginning training to depending on what package you buy, you can get the most advanced and, you know, and then what's neat about it, you can resell that training to make money. You know, yeah. so it's not like you buy a program. And okay, you've invested all your money, and now what do you do? You know that. What if it doesn't work? Well, you're out all that money. No, you can resell this. You have the right to the reseller rights. So it's actually quite an innovative program. Really cool. It's and almost the like a, is top notch. It's almost like a like a college or a university. What if a college or university had affiliate programs for the students that came in, and they say they could share with other people and say, "Why don't you come to my college <laughs> and get educated?" Yeah. I mean, absolutely, and there's our hundreds of hours of, of videos to to uh, learn from and such, you know, for sure, you know. And like you said, you know, we're in other things as well, and that's that's another key is that you know a lot. The key to success is to have like multiple streams. You don't want to just throw all your eggs in one basket because you know maybe that that product won't be as you know, profitable as other ones, or, or, you know, if it all depends on what your goals are, if you want to, you know, replace your income, live off of your affiliate marketing, then, well, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize how many pro uh, products and services have affiliate programs to them. Oh, for sure. A lot do. Um, you know, uh, Amazon is basically an affiliate program in and of itself, but it's got that Amazon Associates where you can be a, an affiliate for any product on Amazon. The commissions are really teeny, yeah. but if you wanted to say just uh, do a thing on uh, like gardening and just focus on that gardening niche, there's all sorts of products on Amazon that you could get connected with that you could start promoting. Everything from books on how to learn gardening to gardening tools to... <laughs> everything yeah. about gardening just if you want to get into that niche or if you want to target fly fishing or mm -hmm. there's a in my business of the event industry there's a company that makes bridesmaids dresses and they do it all online where the bride bridesmaids will take their measurements and send them in and then the the bride will pick out a swatch of fabric and design they'll make these bridesmaids dresses and then ship them all out to the bridesmaids and you don't even have to talk to anybody really Oh, well, yeah, I mean, everything is really going digital for sure. And, you know, that's kind of why kind of my focus, what I'm focusing on is AI and digital, every, because that's kind of what's happening in the world. You know, right. I mean, we're involved in this, the now site, 
and it's an all-in-one marketing platform, an AI powered, and it solves the problems of, of, of for marketers. I mean, for, if you're just starting out, having everything in one place is huge because if you're having to how to figure out five, six different types of accounts, you know, your your web uh, builder, your uh, SEO, your CRM, your email, analytics, your social media, all of that. If you have to figure out all of these different types of accounts and try to connect them all, that can get overwhelming. I mean, that's kind of when I first got into marketing, affiliate marketing. It, that it, it was such a, oh my God, you know, all of these yeah, exactly. things you have to connect. And the ability to have it all in one place for me, that was like a godsend. It was like the gates of heaven open up, and it was like, oh. well, it's it's, you know? good. it's kind of like buying a car off the lot as opposed to trying to put it together yourself. Because if you go and you to a junkyard and you say, okay, I'm going to use this chassis from a Ford, and then I want those wheels, but they're from a Chevrolet, and now the bolt pattern is different to hook onto the the rear wheel, and then that changes because that, does that differential hook up to the engine that you're going to be putting up? So you got different things, and they make adapters for all these. Uh, online tools like the email autoresponder. So they've got things that integrate, but if all of a sudden this company changes the way that stuff works, it no longer integrates. And now there's a broken link and it doesn't work. So having exactly. something all in that one platform that you were mentioning, I think that's uh, that's pretty powerful. Oh, I I love it. I love it. And, and you know, some of the features, I mean, some of the functionality it doesn't have as as some other like standalone products do but i look at the overall value of how valuable it is to have everything in one place how efficient it is and how cost saving it is right you know i mean that's a big thing when you start adding up yeah 20 25 30 dollars a month here 30 40 you know when you start adding all that up it's like add up fast hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars I pay less than 90 bucks a month, $87. Well, actually, I don't pay for it. <laughs> you know, I get it for free because I refer it free. So okay. it, it's a neat thing, you know, so. The other thing about it, because it's using the artificial intelligence thing, it's kind of working for you while you're not there. It's out doing things and crawling around the internet and finding prospects and putting them into your little funnel and all that stuff, sort of automatically almost. You still got to keep the ball rolling, keep it pushing. Oh, yeah. But that's the beauty of it, to be able to make clickable links and post them on social media and get leads from that. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome thing. And not only get leads, to be able to have those leads be tracked or tagged and then retargeted with Google Ads. I don't know, I don't know any other software out there that does that. Let me look at your, uh, it's bit.ly slash ask Adam for help now. Yes. So that's how you can contact Adam. Is through yeah, that actually business. brings you to my uh, website for the Now Site Marketing platform. Okay. Yeah. You, you use a bit.ly link slash ask Adam for help now.com. Perfect. Yeah. It's good to know that. Kind of put that stuff out there too. Let's see if I can point to it. If I point to it. How do I point to it? I I can, boop. I think, boop. yeah, there, boop, 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 boop. looks like I'm dancing. Right over there, it's kind of fun. You know, um, and the other, did you, uh, have you gotten started with the NowSite Life app yet? Um, I've, I've, uh, I'm into it, I'm invested in it because I see what's happening with all that. It's pretty interesting. Let, why don't you share what you know about it? Because I know enough about it to be dangerous, but uh, it's kind oh. of like a, coaching program yeah and i just got started wednesday night i have um, my meeting with my coach i signed it right after this so i'm just getting started with it but the platform itself is really awesome and um, um the content that like the ai uh curates for your specific goals mm -hmm. i I mean, it's amazing that, that like the motivational videos that were on my feed for content, I've been like blown away by them. And so, I mean, it's really neat. And not only do you have one expert to work with, a coach, you know, you, you pick your primary goal. And for me, it was business at first. And you can change that anytime. 
but then you have secondary goals as well and you have coaches for that so and plus you're going to have the ability to not only work these three areas like i have a business coach a spiritual mental excuse me spiritual mental well-being and a health fitness coach but then it was just revealed over the weekend last saturday they did a pre-launch event and justin Villababa, the ceo founder said that any expert in their portfolio you will have access to so say something comes up in your life you'll be able to message them okay very cool yeah all me, for less uh, than a cup the price of a cup of coffee a day let I me mean, pop so, this up there for you there yeah that let me see it yep that's uh and going there you can you can find out about life too i mean if you because they're they're one in the same company it's a software company with two products but i'm super excited to get started with life because just the ability and then it, you know attract you set your goals it tracks your goals and you know i'm i'm excited it's going to be it's going to be neat okay adam well th we've gone for over 20 minutes and i don't like to do these too long that's a personal thing of mine. I don't want to take everybody's time because you can't get it back, you know, once you spent it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're assuming they're still listening <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, the nice thing about this is it goes up to the internet, goes up to YouTube, and uh, people find it on their own. You know, it yeah. propagates by itself. And then whenever I want to give something a kick, I can go on a little share button and put it out to people yes. that I think would be interested. So that's how I, I do it. So Adam, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm gonna pop you into the green room and close this off and then we can have a little chat and then you gotta get ready for your thing and I've got another thing coming at the top of the hour too. So I appreciate you sharing your knowledge and wisdom today. Yeah, you bet, thanks for having me. Thank you, sir, peace. So that was my friend, Adam. He's here local in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And uh, if you wanna contact him, there's the little banner right there. He's got a platform that he's promoting and. We got all sorts of different platforms in the whole affiliate marketing world, all sorts of products, everything from, like I said, bridesmaids, dresses, you can sell uh, solar energy, you can sell software as a service, you can sell anything that's on Amazon, and it's just a matter of learning how to do the marketing element of it so you can make that connection. So that's all for now. I'm going to sign this off. I appreciate you taking time today to be on The Magic Brad Show. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Thank you. Bye.